Hello, and welcome to Christiana Pranayama. This is a 10-minute sequence to help you unwind and get ready for your night's sleep. You could do this on your bed or on a mat, and having a block or a book is totally optional, but nice for the shoulders at the end of class. Let's begin in a comfortable seated position. I like to apply a nice rich lotion or beeswax balms to my hands to let my body know it's time to wind down. You might choose an oil or light a candle. Scent is one of our most powerful tools for communicating with our subconscious. Begin to massage your hands, opening the palm. We grab onto so many things during the day. Give your hands some gratitude. Shut down the eyes, begin to take a deep breath. Interlace the hands, flipping the palms up to the ceiling. Deep breath in. Let go of the interlace and bring your hands down to the mat. We're going to side stretch to the left. Breathe into that body opening. And then side stretch to the right, looking up to the ceiling if it's comfortable for you. Back to center and then twist to the left. And then twist to the other side. You can look behind you if it's okay for your neck. Back to center. Bring your chin down to your chest. Breathe into the back of your neck. And then look up easily if it's okay for your neck. Push your chin up to the ceiling. Back to center. Bring your hands behind you about six inches to a foot, feet flat on the mat in front of you, knees bent towards the ceiling, and then windshield wiper your knees side to side. You can look to the opposite side, if that's good for your neck. Straighten out your legs into staff pose. Inhale, lift your arms up overhead, and exhale, fold forward any amount. This isn't active, you're not trying to pull yourself to your feet, you're just letting things go. Anything that's holding on in your lower back, try and breathe it out. Come back up, and then you're going to roll over your knees to tabletop position, just a few cat cows, drop the belly, lift the gaze, inhale, exhale around the spine, inhale, look up, exhale around the spine, inhale, look up. Exhale around the spine. Inhale, look up. Exhale around the spine. One more. Inhale, look up. Exhale around the spine. Go ahead and lift your left leg up and try and grab it with your right hand. You're going to pull with your foot so that your arm opens up a little bit and stretches. This is a strange balance here, but just play with it. And then let it go. And bring that left foot up to the front of your mat for a pigeon pose. Scooch that right foot back behind you. And just fold forward any amount. Just a few breaths here. Pigeon pose helps to release the hamstrings, release the hips, the IT band. We hold a lot of our emotional tension in our hips as well, so you may have a lot of interesting emotions or even memories come up right now. Just notice them, but don't latch on. Let them go if they can. Keep your focus on the breath, breathing in deeply. 
and exhale, letting it go. All right, push yourself back up into a seat. Tuck those right toes. Bring the left leg to meet it for a downward dog, just for a moment. Then back into our tabletop. Go ahead and lift up your right leg. Grab onto that right foot with your left hand. Try and use your foot and your leg power to pull that left shoulder open behind you. Like I said, this is a funny balancing pose, so if you're on your bed, just fall down. It's fine. But if you have the hold, if you have the balance, just breathe here. And then gently let it go. Bring that right leg up to the front of the mat behind your right wrist for pigeon pose. Scooch that back left leg behind you, getting some nice strong length, and then fold forward any amount. Use your breath to find the places that you're holding on to, find the tension in your body. Inhale into it, and exhale, let it go. If you find that you're having a lot of negative self-talk here, just notice it. Don't engage. Be gentle. Be sweet to yourself. And gently and gingerly bring yourself back up into a downward dog just long enough to walk to the middle of your mat. Heel toe your feet out wide. We're going to do a wide legged forward fold here. You can grab onto opposite elbows, or if your hands touch the mat, you can leave them on there. And just let something go. Your knees can be bent as much as you want here as well. No negative self talk, no trying to get anywhere. Just be. Take some more deep breaths until your lower back. And then bring your seat down to the floor. We're going to come into butterfly pose here. You can either leave your knees out just hanging to the side or you can make it a little more active. This for me helps to loosen up my hips. They get super tight during the day. So just by fluttering your knees like butterfly wings, this will help to relax any tension that you still have lingering in those hips. And you can roll your shoulders back as well, roll them to the front. And when you're ready, just fold forward and butterfly any amount. As with all the other poses, we're not trying to get anywhere. We're just letting gravity do most of the work. Inhale back up to a seated position and we're going to come and lie on our backs. So feet on the mat, knees up to the ceiling, Bring that block or book in between your palms, push into it, look up at this, look up at the ceiling, at the sky, and slowly fall back down onto your back. Bringing the book or block overhead and setting it in between your shoulder blades. You can use the top of your head, the crown of your head, to push your back so that you make an arch and then get that book in between those shoulder blades. Put the arms up overhead. You can bring your feet into shavasana legs or into a reclined butterfly. Mm -hmm. 
And if this is not comfortable for you, you can actually change your position, take the block away, the bolster away, whatever's there, and bring your feet up to the ceiling, your heels pushing up to make a waterfall pose. This is really good for people who stand on your feet all day, people who get swelling in the ankles or the feet, plantar fasciitis, anything where the blood or the energy gets stagnant in the feet. You can keep the knees as bent as you like, but really push those heels up to the ceiling. That'll help open up the hamstrings. And you can stay here as long as you want and head off to bed afterwards. Thank you so much for practicing with me. Namaste. Good night.